Hi everybody, I'm Nofal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss regarding defense mechanism or coping mechanism. So what is meant by defense mechanism? Every day we are experiencing stress, fear and anxiety. To reduce the stress, anxiety and fear or to adjust or adapt or to cope with this anxiety and fear, we will use some psychological techniques. A normal person will use some psychological techniques to reduce the anxiety and stress. That is defense mechanism or coping mechanism. To reduce the anxiety and stress, we will use some techniques. That is coping mechanism or defense mechanism. So, the definition of the defense mechanism is, it is a psychological process that protect the individual from stress and anxiety. Okay, it is a psychological process that protect the individual from stress and anxiety. To protect the individual from stress and anxiety, we are using a psychological technique. That is the definition. It is a psychological process that protect the individual from stress and anxiety. That is defense mechanism or coping mechanism. We can see one by one. First one is denial. First defense mechanism is denial, which means unconsciously refusing an unacceptable thing denial means unconsciously refusing or rejecting an unacceptable thing or unacceptable event that means for example suppose doctor is telling to you that after the blood test you have cancer what will be your reaction suddenly you will refuse or you will try to reject that news no i don't have any problem this is a wrong report i don't have cancer that is denial that means unconsciously refusing an unacceptable thing because it is a unacceptable thing you can't accept that you have cancer so you are refusing that it is a defense mechanism that is denial unconsciously refusing an unacceptable Thing. that is denial that is a painful thing that news is a painful news so you are trying to reject that news okay that is denied next one is repression next one is repression repression means unconsciously forgetting and painful event unconsciously you are forgetting a painful event that is repression for example suppose you had a fight with your friend you had a fight with your friend after that fight you forgot his birthday after that fight you forgot his birthday unconsciously okay unconsciously you forgot his birthday that is repression unconsciously forgetting painful event or a painful thing unconsciously not consciously or purposefully unconsciously you are forgetting a painful thing you had a fight with your friend after that fight you forgot his birthday automatically you forgot his birthday you forgot to wish him for his birthday that is repression unconsciously forgetting a painful thing okay next one is displacement displacement that means unconsciously transferring the emotions from the original object to a substitute object displacement means unconsciously you are transferring your emotions from the original object to a substitute object for example a bad day in the office in the office a bad day for a person very stressful work and he got scolded from the boss now after the office time while coming to the home he is fighting with his wife actually the problem is in the office 
but he can't scold the boss now he started to scold he started to fight with his wife that is displacement unconsciously transferring emotion from its original object original object is the boss to a substitute object the substitute object is the wife okay so the husband fight with the wife why because some problem has occurred in the office with the boss he can't fight with the boss it will affect his job so he is substituting the original object the original person is boss now he is showing that angry towards his wife that is the substitute object unconsciously transferring the emotion from original object to a substitute object that is displacement okay next one is reaction formation reaction formation which means demonstrating or showing the behavior that is exactly opposite to one's real feeling you are showing your opposite behavior inside your mind it is one feeling but outside you are showing a exact opposite to that your inside feeling for example you hate your teacher you don't like a teacher really you hate that teacher but while seeing that teacher what you are doing you are showing a huge respect you are respecting your teacher actually your inside you are having hate but outside you are showing respect that is reaction formation you are forming a reaction demonstrating the behavior that is exactly opposite to one's real feeling you are demonstrating or you are showing a behavior that is exactly opposite to one's real feeling the real feeling is angry hate but you are demonstrating the opposite behavior the opposite behavior is respect actually you don't like that teacher but you are showing respect while seeing that teacher that is reaction formation demonstrating or showing the behavior that is exactly opposite to one's real feeling that is reaction formation clear next one is rationalization rationalization that means it is a process by which an individual uses excuses for his failure by giving socially acceptable reason okay here a person is using excuses always giving excuses for his failure by giving socially acceptable reasons for a failure a person is using excuses by giving socially acceptable reasons for example you have failed in your exam okay you have failed in your exam now you are telling that that teacher was not good there was no electric supply in the hostel that is the reason i have failed in the exam okay it is the process by which a person uses excuses for his failure for the failure he is using excuses by giving socially acceptable reason the society will accept that reason the family or the society will accept that reason because the teacher was not good and hostel facility was not there there was no proper electric supply in the hostel that is the reason for my failure in the exam that is rationalization that means a person uses excuses for his failure by giving socially acceptable reasons clear next one is intellectualization intellectualization that means separation of emotions from a painful event by accepting the fact that is intellectualization which means separating the emotions from the painful event by accepting the fact a painful event has occurred for example an accident has occurred but separating the emotion by accepting the fact which means he is not showing any emotions accident has occurred but he is not showing any emotions 
but accepting the fact he is accepted that accident has occurred for example while discussing regarding a serious car accident while discussing regarding a serious car accident a person shows no emotion he is not showing any shocking emotions but he is accepting that a car accident has occurred that is separation of emotions that is separation of that shocking emotions from the painful event a painful event is accident by accepting the fact accident has occurred and he accepted that but he is not showing any emotion okay that is separation of emotions from a painful event by accepting the fact while discussing regarding a serious car accident a person is not showing any emotions that is intellectualization clear next one is sublimation sublimations that is transformation of negative emotions into positive action transferring the negative emotions into positive action that is sublimation for example very angry person okay very aggressive person hitting a six while playing cricket very angry person hitting a six while playing cricket because that angry anger is a negative emotion he is transferring that negative emotion into a positive action that positive action is hitting a six negative emotion is angry transferring or transformation of negative emotion into positive action negative emotion is angry and positive action is hitting a six that is sublimation transformation of negative emotions into positive action very aggressive very angry person hitting a six while playing cricket the angry is a negative emotion and hitting the six is a positive action that is sublimation next one is compensation 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 means covering or hiding a weak area by showing strength in other area covering a weak area by showing strength in other area or by showing the excellence in other area we know that everybody have weakness and strength so in compensation covering the weak area by showing the strength part for example a student who is very weak in studies showing excellence in sports that student is very weak in studies so he is covering that weak area by showing excellence in sports that is compensation covering or hiding the weak area by showing the excellence in other area you are covering a weak part and showing the strength part that is compensation clear next one is projection okay projection consciously or unconsciously you are blaming someone else for your mistake consciously or unconsciously you are blaming someone else for your mistake actually the mistake is your one but you are blaming others for your mistake that is projection consciously or unconsciously you are blaming someone else for your mistake for example after a surgery failure a doctor is blaming the nurse who assisted him during the surgery actually that surgery was a failure the reason for the surgery failure is that doctor only by the mistake of the doctor only but what the doctor is doing he is blaming the nurse while uh, she assisted uh, him during the surgery so he is telling that this is the mistake of the nurse he is not accepting his mistake he is blaming others actually the mistake is to the doctor but he is not accepting that he is blaming others okay so unconsciously or consciously blaming someone else for one's own mistake that is projection 
clear next one is undoing 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 means consciously doing something to solve a wrongdoing consciously doing something to solve a wrongdoing a mistake has occurred a mistake has occurred to solve that mistake you are doing something for example a father beat the child okay after beating and scolding the child he is giving a chocolate that is undoing he understood that he has committed a mistake unnecessarily he beat the child now he is giving a chocolate to that child that is undoing after beating the child the father is giving chocolate that is undoing consciously doing something to solve a wrong doing to solve a wrong doing consciously doing something that is undoing next one is regression regression which means unconscious return to an earlier developmental level unconscious return to an earlier developmental level our different developmental levels are during the infancy period toddler period preschooler schooler adolescent like that developmental period is there here in regression unconscious return to a earlier developmental level that means a adolescent is showing the behavior of the small child adolescent is showing the behavior of the small child for example a 15 year old boy 15 year old boy after failing in exam he started to pass urine in the bed actually it is the behavior of the small child but he started to show the behavior of small child by passing urine in the bed that is regression which means unconscious return to an earlier developmental level the earlier developmental level of that adolescent boy is actually that boy is actually he is showing the behavior of a small child actually it is finished childhood is finished now also he is showing that behavior to escape from some problem because he has failed in the exam now he started to pass urine in the bed clear next one is conversion okay conversion that is unconscious expression of emotional conflict into physical symptoms unconsciously expressing the emotional conflict into physical symptom for example a student who wake up with headache on the day of final year exam okay a student who wake up with headache on the day of final year exam actually in his mind he is having fear and stress related to the exam now it is showing as a physical symptom that physical symptom is headache emotional conflict is stress and anxiety related to the exam that is conversion unconscious expression of emotional conflict he express the emotional conflict stress and anxiety related to the exam into physical symptom the physical symptom is headache okay a student who wake up with headache on the day of final year exam emotional conflict that is stress and anxiety related to the exam into physical symptom that is headache okay that's all regarding defense mechanism we will meet soon with another video till that thank you and goodbye